Hey guys, welcome to another coiner video. In this video, we'll talk about and discuss the new 50p coin. So this is um, a coin which is available in any post office. I got this, I think it's copper nickel coin. And there are three versions available of it. Copper nickel, and then there is silver proof, and then uh, gold proof as well. And uh, with the limited uh, mintage on the proof coins so if you look at this one this is normal cop uh, and there, i think there is one platinum as well yeah platinum metal uh, but i'm not sure 100 percent sure on that but anyways so yeah first of all um how much did, did this one cost me um this is the post office version basically uh if you're a collector it depends like you know what kind of co um, coin uh, you want if it is just hobby just hobby you don't want any financial benefit of out of it or anything i think this is all right for you to uh collect but if you want it to be a little extra like you know in mint condition and all that i wouldn't recommend you to buy your coin from post office because for example when i got this the post office lady actually just gave me like that so you know um, these are handled with hands and all that they're not protected at all so that's not a good idea if you want to get this uh, for example in future if you want to sell your collection or stuff like that and if you want something out of it uh, that would be a little hard for that purpose I'd suggest you to uh, go to Royal Mint and buy the packaged coins I think it costs seven pounds but this one just cost me uh, 50 uh, pence actually it's a funny thing uh, I never bought anything from uh, any coins from post office before and um, I went to the post office and I asked uh, the lady how much um, a 50p coin is gonna cost and she's like 50 p. so that was a bit funny so let's have a look at weight first of all and if you can see it let's see how much does it weigh it weighs exactly eight grams a little bit um this number you know it's never 100 percent accurate but yeah um around let's say eight grams and now if you look at this coin on its obverse there's queen elizabeth portrait um and, and facing la right or yeah okay and then it is um there, there's legend around it and then date so let's have a look at what it says yeah. um first of all 50 pence uh 2022 elizabeth second dg R E G there's uh, fd so basically, basically that means elizabeth the second by the grace of god queen defender of faith um and then shimon he who thinks evil of it if you look at here queen's portrait under that there is um j b or j c that is the name of the engraver initials of the engraver i think john something and on reverse there is number 70 uh, as you can see and then the ro uh, royal cipher here and then the dates uh, I think this is the Queen's rule date where she became Queen in uh, 1952 and today's date uh, which is 2022 so it is uh, a really important coin um, if you are a 50p collector uh, this would be a really sig a significant one uh, because it is the first time a royal event was celebrated on a 50p coin and um so that's what makes it really special coin and yeah um i just got this coin from post office so i thought i'd, I'd share with you guys as well so let me know what you guys think about this coin i really like its design it's really um especially when we look at reverse it's really simple and elegant um so yeah let me know what you guys think and uh, yeah there is there are two uh engraver's name it here as well i believe it says a r uh, andrew ross and d o that's going to be deborah osborne i think but yeah these are the two engravers of this coin and then there is 
JC on the obverse side. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this coin. Which, what type of coins do you prefer? Like for example, would you be collecting the one from post office or you would be ordering one from uh, Royal Mint, which are packed or you like to play a bit big and go for silver or uh, gold proof coins. So let me know what you guys think. And um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And um, don't forget to like and share this video. And thank you very much for, your, uh, for watching it. Bye bye.